Welcome to Karen Town, episode 19 or 20. I'm not sure. I have to check the number of videos I uploaded to 2020. But in short, whether it's 19 or 20, this is my first video for 2021. So I'd like to meet everyone. Happy New Year! So since we still have the New Year fever, kahit na sabihin natin, it's totally different from the previous New Year celebrations we had. Um, for many people, I bet, um, tuli-tuli pa rin yung pag-iisip natin ng New Year's resolution. And even for me, in my case, I also have one. At ito yung walang kamatayang mag-lose ng weight. Yes, mag-lose ng weight. Kasi as you know, and nakikita nyo na rin sa mga video, previous videos ko na talagang um, lumaki ako over the time. Mas malaki na ako before, mas lumaki pa ako ngayon. So, I got inspired by my brother. My brother is hopefully uh, watching this video. So, kuya, this is inspired by you. And since January 1, I actually tried his diet. And so far, I've been surviving. And in this journey I have right now, I, uh, I actually tried a new food. So, para din sa mga hindi nyo ako masyadong kilala, hindi ako kumakain ng mga gulay. Okay? The, the vegetables that I eat are usually yung mga patatas, mungo, uh, squash, yun yung mga um, common vegetables na kinakain ko. Pero I don't eat leafy vegetables. And it's been that way since I was young. Hindi siya dahil sa kaaptahan. But siguro it's more of because I didn't get used to it. So even now, nadala ko siya. Um, and dun sa diet na pinafollow ko sa brother ko, um, it's a plant-based diet. Pero I'm finding ways how to really like make sure na maging strict ako dun sa pagpili ng pagkain ko. So starting January 1st, I really made sure to control my diet. Pero may isang cheat day na ako eh. So, sabi ko kasi nung dati, parang life is too short not to have a cheat day. So, nag-cheat day na rin ako. <laughs> Ang ropo ko. Pero, I still continued. And, good thing, after two weeks, uh, there's improvement. And, I, I will share to you again. So, let's see. So, sin sinabi ko nga sa inyo that I discovered a new food. So, knowing na hindi ako kumakain mga leafy vegetables, um, hindi ko siya, um, hindi ako kumakain ng mga salads, mga kangkong, yung mga usual na kinakain kapag nagdadayan. So, I looked online and I found um, some stores that are selling veggie meats. Okay? So, what are veggie meats? Ito yung mga meats na would uh, come in different flavors and would come in different textures too but since it's called meat um, for someone who's not eating vegetables talaga okay sa akin yung mga veggie meats dahil um, it gives me like an alternative food na hindi talaga yung actual meat and even though na sinasabi nila may preservatives pa rin sila and what and it's not strictly following yung diet ng kuya ko but I still get the, that um, change in my diet na hindi na ako malag, madaming meats uh, I stay away from sweets so I discovered this food uh, online store called Foodgenics and I ordered different foods from them and I'll take you back on the days na kinain ko siya and um, tingnan nyo kung ano yung mga kukuha nyo rin dito sa episode nito so please check it out So, titikman natin yung uh, veggie meat na litsong paksi. Ay, hindi pala litsong paksi. Litsong kawali. Ito siya. Mukha siyang... Mukha talaga siyang pork. So, baka kung di mo alam na veggie meat siya, you'd really believe na mukha siyang or pork talaga siya. So, I made a dip para masarap. Mm -hmm. 
Pick my nothing. Mmm. Trip shop. It really tastes like meat. Tapos and texture nya. It will give you that feeling too. Parang siyang karyoka. Pero, it's meat. Kaya okay siya in general. So, yeah. This is a good try. Veggie meat. Let's go kawali. Kakain ako. So, if we look closely dun sa meat, may makikita kayong part na parang na-capture niya yung texture ng taba tapos texture ng laman. Pero what I realized is mas maganda na kainin to pag bagong luto para hindi siya matigas. Kasi kapag um, kumagal siya, it's possible na mas maging tough siya at mahirapan tayong kainin. Pero overall, it's a good substitute for meat. You won't feel uh, much oil and it's less guilt. Hi! So, we're going to try the second food I bought from Poojenix and let's check what it tastes like. So, itong in order ko, it's barbecue and uh, the color looks like barbecue. The smell, amoy ulam, not necessarily amoy barbecue. Pero, we'll check kung ano yung dati niya. It has the smoky aroma of barbecue. At saka texture-wise, okay din siya. Nakaka-amaze na when you check yung texture at saka yung look ng veggie meat, nakuha nila yung shreds that you usually see sa real meat. Ang galing. So, the next food that we're trying now is yung um, veggie tapa. So, ang veggie tapa niya, it doesn't really look like a tapa, pero parang color tapa siya. Smooth yung surface and it tastes like canned ham. Pero may tapa, may smokiness ng konti. So, siguro this qualifies sa tapa. So, it tastes good too. Um, so, tignan natin kung maubos ko siya. Hello! So, it's a new day. It's a new ulam. And, and here's Kuku. Say hi, Kuku. Hi, everyone. Say hi, everyone. Ayaw, suplado. Anyway, what I have here for my ulam today is... Da -da -da -da, guess what this is? It's still a veggie meat and it's sisig. So, ita try natin what it tastes like. Diba, Kuku? You wanna eat veggie meat? I wanna eat veggie meat. Yeah! Okay. So, pang fourth na dish na to na tinatry natin for veggie meat. So, nauna yung kawale, ta, lechon kawale, and then we had um, barbecue, and then the last one was the tapa. So, ito na ang, ito na yung sisig. So, if you'll check the sisig, parang mukha siyang sisig talaga dahil meron siyang pieces of veggie meat. Ba't ganyan mukha mo, anak? <laughs> so, ito yung itsura niya. And, um, it may look really like a veggie, or it may really look like a real seasoning. So, tikman natin what it tastes like. So, ito na siya. Let's try it. It's the first time I'm going to taste it. So, the first reaction would be, would determine the taste. Hmm. 
So, may nag-comment. Parang giniling. Oo. Oh, mukha siyang, uh, or parang siyang giniling. The texture inside your mouth, you'd feel yung smoothness ng mga ingredients. I don't know kung meron talagang, or yeah, there are, there's a mushroom. There's a mushroom and bits of the veggie meat. So, it tastes good. I think if you want to add calamansi or chili to this, it would be more, it would be more delicious. So, okay siya. Ayan, dahil may animation effect. So, after some days of eating the four veggie meats I ordered, which are yung lechong kawali, pork barbecue, um, sisig, and tapa, I will give my overall general review of Pugenics food. Una talaga, uh, I'd say na sulit yung pagbili ko um, because I was able to really um, sustain yung diet na gusto kong i-keep for the first two weeks of the new year. And um, as someone who's not eating vegetables, I think nagkaroon din ng magandang effect yun dun sa pagbaba ng uh, weight ko. Ilan yung binaba ko, you'll know later. So, kailangan yung panoorin yung last part. So, first question, ano yung favorite ko dun sa apat? So, among the four, um, my top choice is yung barbecue. Okay? Kasi yung barbecue, it really captures yung texture ng meat tapos yung flavor ng barbecue. So, if you want to see kung ano dun sa apat yung itatry nyo, yan yung aking well-recommended. Um, sa content or sa amount ng vegetable or veggie meat, I'd say na okay din siya kasi I bought the veggie meats, I think, ng first week ng January and even up to now, meron pang mga uh, natira. Um, not because of course I'm, I'm not eating but of, but I think since ako lang yung kumakain ng veggie meats dito sa bahay um, I think yung uh, spend ko for the veggie meats for the first week sulit naman siya in short yun yung point ko so you may be wondering kung ilan na yun na lose ko um, after 2 weeks of dieting um, from nako medyo nakalungkot na isi-share ko to na 108 kilos ako nung nag-strike yung new year as in January 1 and talagang grabe yung kinain ko during that time and after uh, following strict diet eating veggie meats um, keeping my rice intake to one cup a day eating a lot of buko meats and um, taking some apple cider vinegar there's a good uh, or there was a positive result so check nyo kung ilan na yung weight ko so again initial weight was 108 kilograms so ito na ang um, weighing scale and we'll see kung ilan yung na lose ko so starting weight was 108 kilograms huwag mo ko bigo in weighing scale Okay, so yan. Ayan, nagbabago-bago siya. So this is a digital weighing scale. It's 105. So in this kind of weighing scale, dapat tries mo daw siyang ita try. So 105, let's check again. Ayaw na niya mabago, dapat it should go back to zero. Ayan, okay. So zero, zero natin. Yung yung weight na makukuha mo after 3 at 5, yun yung final weight eh. Sige. So, yan. 105 ulit. So, consistent naman siya. So, that my friend, so far, has been my progress after 2 weeks. So, okay naman siya. So, yan friends. Nakita nyo na yung effect ng aking pag-release ng weight. Um, and that's what they say, ba Parang losing weight, part of it really or majority of it would lie on your diet. So what you eat is what you are. If you eat something light, you should be light. 
if you eat heavy all the time, you feel heavy. So, hopefully, masustain ko to. Naka-record tong nangyaring ito sa aking buhay. At kung tataba ulit ako at hindi ko ito mga papanindigan, ay nako, papaalalahanan ako ng video na ito. Kaya medyo ipi akong mag vlog about the shape loss journey. Pero ang talagang focus nito is yung food discovery ko. So, doon na lang tayo tumutok. And please, 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 huwag niyo akong i-attempt na mag-milk tea at mag-barbecue uh, at iba pa. Okay. So, doon. Yun siya. So, that's it. Those are the things I'd like to share here in this episode of Caring Found. And hope